Welcome back to my channel and to another vlog. My name is Shalika Marka. I am a Sri Lankan living here in Sweden, Scandinavia. And today I'm taking you along with me while we celebrate Midsummer. Midsummer is a huge celebration here in Sweden. We look forward to it all year long. Um, and today we're going to be celebrating with some of our friends in their summer house in Tiras Ö, which is an island about a 40 minute drive from the south of Stockholm. So we're at our friend's house now, and as you can see, it's a beautiful view here. It's um, the water, um, but it is a very typical Swedish summer house. As you can see, it's not very fancy. It's just a very basic house. It has a kitchen, it has a toilet inside without any running water. It's an unusual toilet. So this toilet is really cool. You lift it up, it looks like that. Got yourself a bag. You lift up, you open up your paper like this, you put it in the toilet, just like this, put the seat down, do your business, close it, and then press on the button to flush. It's amazing. My husband and my friend are getting ready with the food inside and I'm going to lay the table here. As you can see, it's just so simple, um, but that's just what's so beautiful about being here in Sweden, that everything is just simple, nothing is a lot of fuss and it's not very opulent. It's really not for everyone, but I really love the simplicity of it. It really allows you to live a very calm, stress-free life, I think, anyway. We started with some of these plates. We're using paper plates, obviously. It makes everything easier. Um, fix that, and then I will show you later on what we eat for midsummer. <laughs> <laughs> On our midsummer table this year, we've got a mix of traditional and non-traditional food. The eggs here you see are topped with something called skorven röra, which is a prawn mix. We've got a salad, a couple of quiches that my mum baked, and this is the herring. The pickled herring is a must on any Swedish buffet table. You eat it with some potatoes and some creme fraiche, as well as some red chopped onions. Now, I was unable to film that, but please subscribe to my channel. You will see one of those videos coming up in December because we have very, very similar food for Christmas time. We need anything else? We have a vino. Have you seen yeah, don't uh, just eat meat cat, You have to have something with it, like pie. Yeah. <laughs> have you seen meat or meatballs? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sen så jag försöka söka andra jobb också. Ja. Men men det är lite så jag avvaktar ju lite och ser också vad som händer med. Ja. Ja, ja, precis. Ja, just det. Snabbt då. So we are taking a break now. Um, I'm just going to sit down here and just talk to you a little bit. Um, so the hosts are fixing the strawberries for dessert. We're going to have strawberries and cream and ice cream um, for the kids. And then we're going to go down uh, to where they're going to be celebrating the Midsummer Festival. So we're going to be dancing around the Midsummer Stong. Like I said, that's a Swedish tradition here uh, for Midsummer. And I'm going to take you along with me. I've got my flowers on my head. My colleague bought it for me when I had it uh, in school. So we're rest in our little summer dresses and we're ready to dance and have a good time. So we've been having such bad weather but luckily for us midsummer the weather has turned out to be really really great so next time i see you we'll be down by the festivities and i will talk to you then <coughs> is called a smultron plant. It is a small strawberry plant, as you can see here. These are tiny little wild strawberries that you get here in Sweden. They're called smultron. They don't grow any bigger than this, really. Uh, and they are really, really pretty. Now, when I go up to the north of Sweden, we will see a lot more of this, but I thought it was just fun that it was already growing here. I wanted to show you, it's so pretty. 
so we are now walking down to the water not really the water i'm really not sure where we're going to go because i've never been here before but we're going to walk down uh, we've had coffee with tea we've had strawberries we've had lunch so people have their homes here these are very typical swedish homes um we're walking through a very narrow path to get to the festivities the blueberries all the blueberry bushes here as you can see these are they're not almost they're almost right hey are oh, you want to go down matthew anthony walk down oh Ja, ett bra blåbär. Vi är redan. Ja, precis. Vi har ett många buskar. Det är en utmaning för min mamma, vet du. Made it to the festivities, as you can see. It's a big crowd. Well, not a big crowd, but you get these sort of celebrations all over Sweden. So people gather picnics and really, really have fun. What they're doing now is they sell a lottery and then they're handing out the prizes. Um, it's just a few things that they like to do here doing these sort of gatherings here in Sweden. <laughs> the gentleman is coming to collect his prize over here. what we in Sweden would traditionally call a midsummer stong. It's usually covered with birch leaves and flowers. They've omitted the flowers here. I love the simplicity of it. It's got two rings on either side. And if you are interested to find out exactly what everything signifies, I will leave the link in the description box below.
So we're by the water now and a lot of people are swimming and having fun. I'm just going to show you what the view looks like down here. If I turn around, as you can see, it's very, very close to where we were uh, dancing and singing. So the water's here and everybody is bathing over there. So it's very, very popular here for Swedes to bathe in lakes like this. The water is cold in my opinion, but for them, they are used to it and they absolutely love it. It's a thing that they wait for every single year. Bathing in the water like this is such a sign of summer here in Sweden. But there are those who bathe all year round in the water. If the water is flowing like this and not made of ice, there are some people who bathe every single day and obviously everybody knows ice baths are really good or ice plungers are really good and very very popular here in Sweden and you don't have to go to a special place you just find a lake like this in the winter and then just plunge yourself in. So in Swedish homes like this that are out in the country, this is how you would wash your dishes. You would fill up your sink with soapy water and then you wash your dishes and then you rinse it in clean water and then you put it to dry. Now the reason you do this is to save water. Uh, water can be quite expensive to pull the water to these sort of places, remote places out here. So that is how it works works um, in this house and even up in the north the ideal way to do it is to do it like this to save a lot of water my husband has made some uh, strawberries marinated from leftovers from lunch so we're going to serve these strawberries with the top cocker muffins i used a pink um, muffin paper so this is going to be dessert for tonight and now i think everything on the grill has been made we're ready to eat we're going to sit down and enjoy a meal outside Ja, ni Emil. Emil våran kompis Emil. Ja, oh, ja. Oh. Ja, han är i Örebro nu. Ja, han är i Örebro. Ja, mm. han är. Han är i Örebro. Han är han ja, precis. Han är med hans mamma, äh, pappa. Ja, ha på så sätt. Ja, de jobbar ju. De är Jag vet inte om hans syskon kommer heller. Så att de är Ja, 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 ja. Han är där då. Ja. De ska fira där. So we are saying goodbye to our midsummer celebrations. I am sad to leave, but today has come to an end. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. I'd be really thrilled to consider to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye bye.